Indonesia is one of the world's largest emitters of greenhouse gases, or GHG. For the past two decades, GHG emissions have increased in almost all sectors, such as land use, energy, agriculture, industry, and waste. The energy sector is projected to increase to over 50% of total emissions by 2026 until 2027. On the other hand, Indonesia has been committed to tackle climate change since the Conference of Parties COP15 of 2009 to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 29% below business as usual and 41% with international cooperation in 2030. And the question is, how Indonesia achieves significant emission reduction in energy sectors? Let's find out. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day, the honorable judges and all my colleagues. My name is Najwa Nur Awalia. I'm honored and humble to stand here as mahasiswa berprestasi of Universitas Gajah Mada. Today, I'd like to deliver an informative speech about SDG number 13, Climate Action. Ladies and gentlemen, Indonesia has geographical conditions that are very vulnerable to climate change impacts. Ranked 97th out of 181 countries in 2020. Moreover, Indonesia's fossil energy emissions and deforestation became the top 10 worst in the world. We are in danger. Therefore, think about it. We must take action to address this issue urgently. That's why I'm standing here today to share alternative solutions that have the potential to make a real impact. Green energy transition, the future energy for Indonesia. Ladies and gentlemen, let me show you four powerful ways to optimize green energy in Indonesia. And I call them HYPE, which stands for Harnessing, Implementing, Promoting, and Encouraging. To begin with, by harnessing the potential of biomass. Biomass energy is a viable solution for renewable energy sources. It's derived from organic matter such as wood, crops, and organic waste. Regarding its utilization as power generation energy, the bioenergy potential that Indonesia has is very large, namely 442 gigawatts. However, the utilization is only 99 gigawatts or around 2%. This is the reason for the government to encourage bioenergy development to answer the challenge of achieving the 23% target in 2025. The use of this energy source can help reduce carbon emissions, create green jobs, green technologies, and support rural communities. Furthermore, by implementing and promoting renewable energy, Indonesia is the second world's major microalgae producer after China, contributing to 28% of the global microalgae production. To achieve sustainable energy development goals, biomass to energy technology from microalgae has been considered as one of the best options as an alternative source of local power generation. In 2019, Indonesian seaweed production achieved 9.9 .9 million tons and occupied the second largest global producer. Considering the increasing of global production, Indonesia is the key player of the microalgae production in the world. Lastly, by encouraging public-private partnership, government can work together to develop renewable energy projects and promote the use of renewable energy sources in industries and households. In conclusion, I strongly believe that by implementing these innovative solutions, Indonesia can reduce significant carbon emission by implementing renewable energy, mitigate the impact of climate change, and promote sustainable development for climate justice. So, are you ready for an energy transition? Now, it's your turn. I'm Najwa Nur Awalia. Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.